Luke chapter 22. Just to bring you up to speed what is happening. The Garden of Gethsemane is over. They have come and arrested Jesus. About ready to take him to the hall of praetorium and beat him beyond recognition. Verse 54, an event happens that Jesus said would happen. The Bible says, Then they then took they him and led him and brought him unto the high priest's house. And Peter followed afar off. And when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the hall and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. But a certain maid beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked upon him and said, This man was also with him. And he denied him, saying, Woman, I know, I know him not. And after a little while, another saw him and said, Thou art also of them. And Peter said, Man, I am not. And about the space of one hour after another confidently affirmed, saying of a truth, This fellow also was with him, for he's a Galilean. Peter said, Man, I know not what thou sayest. And immediately, while he yet spake, the cock crew. And the Lord turned and looked upon Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. And a couple of things I want you to see in this text. I want you to notice Peter's drifting. Look at verse 54 again. Then took they him and led him and brought him into the high priest's house. And here it is. And Peter followed afar off. It wasn't that many hours earlier Peter said that he'd go with him all the way to the cross. It wasn't that many hours earlier that Peter chopped off the ear of one that came to rest him. and is afar off. It's not where he once was. He's afar off. He's drifting. Holy Ghost gave me a little thought on drifting. Being close enough to see what's going on, yet disengaged from the action. Some of you were sitting here this morning. You heard these young people testify. You saw young ladies get saved. You saw the choir sing and folks responding. Folks across this building responding, hitting the altar. You were close enough to see the action, but you was just disengaged. You're here, hallelujah, but you've drifted a little bit from the Lord. Can I say something else? Notice Peter's decision, verse 55. It said he sat down among them. Our decisions always have consequences. And some of you have been sitting down with a crowd you shouldn't sit with. Maybe on social media, maybe on the job, maybe uh, uh, in the neighborhood you've been hanging out where you're not getting what you should be getting from God. Mm -hmm. We've been planning for six months for camp meeting. Some of you aren't any more ready for camp meeting than you are for the rapture of the church. You have been preoccupied with something or something or someone other than Jesus. I want you to notice Peter's denials. Verse 57, 58, and verse number 60, he denies the Lord. The Bible says we're written epistles known and read of all men. I wonder how much our life denies the Lord. I wonder when people are reading our lives if they see uh, joy unspeakable and full of glory, if they see peace uh, uh, that passes all understanding, if they see uh, an anchor for the soul in time of trouble, or if they see somebody just like everybody else out there, gaping in this, this confused world with no hope. And then we see Peter deploring. He runs out and weeps bitterly. He's full of grief and guilt. You know, some people can't worship because they're full of grief and guilt. You haven't been what you should be. You come to the house of God, you know you're not what you should be, and you can't worship. You know how to get rid of that? Repent. 
If I was going to preach, what I'd preach is in verse 61. It says, And the Lord turned and looked upon Peter. I was going to preach on disappointing Jesus. I wonder how many of us have disappointed Jesus. Can I firmly stay right here? He's never disappointed me. Been saved since 1974. He has never let me down. He has never been anything less than he said he would be. He's been a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He's been long-suffering. He's been loving. He's been caring. Uh, there's many times that I have let him down uh, only for him to reach down and pick me up, dust me off, set me back on this way called straight and be good to me in spite of me. But I have disappointed him. I wonder, have you disappointed Jesus? Some have disappointed by failing his grace. Every day we live in the grace of God. Every day we come short of it, but it's the difference between coming short of it and failing it, trampling his blood under our feet. Some disappointed by forgetting his sacrifice. When is the last time you realized what Jesus gave for you to be able to come and worship him? So many disappointed by for foregoing their commitments. Remember when you told the Lord you'd do something for him? Are you doing it? Hmm? Or have you disappointed Jesus? Hmm? Some are disappointed by forsaking his will. Some of you haven't prayed all week. Them kids down there, you didn't even pray for them. Get some help. Was preaching revival, you didn't even pray. God bless the revival meeting. Some of you didn't pray for the service before you got here this morning. You just haven't prayed. It's amazing. You can, you can talk to everybody on social media, but you can't talk to God. You've disappointed him. Some are disappointing, forsaking the scriptures. It's amazing how much you can read that little thing in your pocket, but you can't open the Word of God. And read it. By the way, you can even get an app on your phone, read it on your phone. If, you, if you're that attached to it, you can get King James Bible on your phone. You can even let it read to you. Some have forsaken the sanctuary. The sanctuary, the church, is God's government on earth. It is a sacred refuge. It is where we draw strength and help. And if you are a member here, we have been fitly framed to be here, and we are to support one another and encourage one another. But it's real hard to support one another when we're not here. They preach out there in spirit. I can't preach to your spirit. I need your body. Hmm. Some people, the sanctuary is not important to them. You say, well, preacher, I can watch it on, li on live, but that's not the same. I'm glad for those tools for folks who are providentially hindered, but it's not the same as being here. You wouldn't have experienced all this online because they wasn't filming it. Hmm. Some have forsaken his will and being a soul winner and telling others about Jesus. That's why he saved us, to be a witness and a light to others. Can I say this? Have you disappointed Jesus? By living on your feelings instead of by faith? Just shall live by faith. Hmm? Have you disappointed Jesus by not being on fire? It's an indictment against us what these kids got. And they're begging us not to quench it. They're begging us to help them stay on fire. Have you disappointed Jesus? Hmm? Thought about this. Coming to camp meeting. Here's where some of you's mentality is. You got Martha mentality. You're ready to serve, but you don't have Mary mentality. She was ready to worship. You know what Jesus told Martha? Mary chosen the better part. Hmm? Have you disappointed Jesus? I thought about this. Some have disappointed Jesus by first seeking your needs and wants over Him. Can I just throw this out there? Let me pick on Brother Jim. He's got thick skin. Jim, Brother Jim, my friend, so thrilled God sent you all back to the promised land. I love you, brother. You know that. By the way, I bought me semi-automatic AR shotgun down there. We can need to try it out. Oh, yeah, 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 we did. Preacher kept taking me to gun shops. I, I only had so much I could resist. You know what floors me? 
is how people have no disregard for how Jesus feels in that they'll schedule things that will hinder them from being in the house of God. Let me help you something. Doctors make appointments on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday too. Preacher can't come to church, got a doctor's appointment Wednesday. We'll get it at 8 o'clock. Or get it Thursday. Preacher, I, I, I can't come to church Wednesday. I got somebody coming over to the house to look at something. They'll look on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday too. Preacher, I can't come to church. I got this going on. Well, we got church going on. You see, you're seeking all your temporal things first. And that's why you couldn't worship when you came in here today. Have you disappointed Jesus? Peter began drifting and ended in disappointment. When we too begin to drift, we'll end up out of the will of God. But here's what happens. Too many times we'll attempt to defend our circumstances rather than get right with God. Peter disappointed Jesus. Have you disappointed Jesus this week? Have you disappointed Jesus this morning? What have you let come before you and Jesus? Do hmm? you hear any roosters crowing? Hmm? I think this is what we need to do. Brother Clint, I think you need to come get a song of invitation. It's camp meeting week. Boy, some been doing business with God. Boy, it's refreshing. But how about you? You done business with the Lord this morning? God speaking to your heart? Maybe you need to get in here and tell Jesus you're sorry. Lord, I'm sorry. I, I didn't come ready this morning. Lord, I'm disappointed. Hey, you know what? Jesus is so wonderful. Even though you disappoint him, he still forgive you. He'll restore you. Hey, he'll get the water flowing again in your soul. Because that's who he is, all right? So they're, they're, folks are coming. They're getting a song ready. Let's all stand. You're here today and God's been speaking to you and you know you're not saved. Come, we'll take a Bible, show you how to get saved. Maybe you need to come and ask God to do work in your heart this week. Maybe you need to come tell Him you're sorry. Maybe you just need to come tell Him you love Him. Folks are praying. Let's pray. Father, we love you. Oh, God, forgive us when we disappoint you. Thank you, Lord, for what you've already done around here this morning. God, just continue to do work. And show up in this invitation. Speak to hearts. Lord, there might have been some who haven't done any business with you yet. Help them to come. Maybe still lost people here, God. I pray the sweet Holy Ghost just keep tugging at their heartstrings. I pray they get it made right right now. God, have your way. We'll bless you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Turn Thanks to listeners like you, IBC has had over 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, subscribe today. And as always, thanks for listening.